In the 21st century's ongoing conversations about cheap alternative energy, keep an eye out for Lungelo Sigudla. Although the young man is still in high school, he's already gained international recognition for his invention, the man-made coal. Lungelo's cheap alternative source shows that a simple idea can go a long way when driven by a determined mind. An ordinary pine cone burnt down to charcoal mixed with a few chemicals. Combusted, cooled, then compressed. The end product, a chunk of coal that burns cleanly for five hours. While still in its infancy, Lungelo Sigudla's man-made coal has already caught the attention of the global scientific community. I want to create an alternative source for South Africa and the whole country to use. Lungelo has had an engineering mind from an early age. His father is not always at home. Lungelo will always take an initiative to fix anything that is broken in the house. The passion for science and electronics and stuff like that grew from there. When he got to grade 10, his teachers gave him a chance to put his passion into practice. He had to design and conduct his own experiment and participate in a local science fair. I invited all the science learners or other learners who were interested in doing a project in the scientific method that they have to use to find a problem in their area. At the time, Lungelo regularly visited his aunt who lived in a squatter camp near Newcastle. She often told him about the lack of coal for heating during the winter. I saw the growing need of uh, renewable alternative energy sources in South Africa because we have become too dependent on, uh, on coal. So I thought to myself, hmm, what if we made coal instead of us digging coal? Lungelo realized he needed a cheap and plentiful raw material to burn. His life science teacher advised him to experiment with pine cone, and he got to work. But one morning, he left his samples alongside several flammable chemicals. He returned minutes later to find his backyard lab destroyed by fire, turning months of data and hard work into ashes. But like any good scientist, Lungelo learned from this horrific incident. That was a good sign though, in a way. I mean, <laughs> it, it burned by itself, which means I could actually use it for my coal. Lungelo rebuilt his backyard lab and picked up right where he left off. While we were enjoying our holidays in December, he was working. He was researching his project, doing everything. Even on WhatsApp, he would like Lungelo, he wouldn't reply for like two days. Through repeated experimentation, the winning formula emerged. <sighs> Finally. You know, that relief that, you know, when you empty out a bottle, you know, like all the stress coming out of me. Lungelo's man-made coal not only impressed judges at local science fairs, he also made it to the 2013 National ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists. The backyard experiment was now competing at a top level. They don't just volunteer, their perseverance earns them uh, a place to actually be here. Lungelo's confidence and unique creation secured him first place, earning him a spot at an even larger international expo in the US. While overseas, his display of scientific knowledge saw him selected from almost 2,000 participants to share a meal and engage with three Nobel winners. Excellent stuff. 
Well, that's it for now. Join us again next time as we explore the lives of those who dare to dream. The people who are committed to making South Africa a country of possibilities. My name is Mpola Gaje. Cheers.